All right, so Meta Moon rewritten. Let's freaking go! All right, so we're back. We're back in Meta Moon. Um, this time it's called like Meta Moon Tycoon or something. Let's just check all the animations. I think like the animator last time when I was speaking in the Discord server like like teased me. Here's an animation, and I had to guess what it was based off the keyframes. Anyway, so we got new M ones for the Great Hammer. So, they got a new animator, I think, because these aren't the same animations as last time. I think it's good because they're a lot more original. Like, I'm pretty sure the other animations were just copied assets from Burnet Moon. I'm sorry, the first time we do the animations, they're gonna look a bit laggy because that's just how Roblox works. So, we're gonna have to do everything twice. But yeah, I do like these. I wouldn't say I like them more than the original animations, but I think they are original to this game. Uh, they're trying to like make their own assets and stuff, which I can completely understand. But I swear to God, if they messed up the spear, I will find them. All right, we gotta see if these are all right. Gotta get our blaze. Okay, let's see. Wait, I'm pretty sure they stayed the same. Either that, or the new animator just replicated it per replicated it perfectly. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. Props to the animator. I could never do it, so. So take my criticism with a grain of salt wherever I do make it. Alright, so, as always, let's check out the map and just see what they've been doing. I'm not sure if this is some kind of, like, it, it's definitely somewhere in the sky, so it might be some, like, I don't know, heaven thing. I don't know if they're actually going to add this into the game, but I think it'd be cool if they did. So let's just have a look around and see what we can find. Oh yeah, here's the shrines that we found last time. An NPC, Grace, we saw this NPC last time. Hello, Gonjus. I'm scared of you. Why? Alright, we got the Vernet Moon Moon. Very nice. Very nice. We're gonna have to pray across here. Oh! First try. Re admin. Oh my goodness. Vernet Moon Tycoon is real. Oh yes, the blacksmith. Tune my weapon. Okay, well, I don't have any silver to give you. Gotta get that name I made when I was 12 years. So, for the moment, I think this is... Well, of course, this is another bit of official map that we've seen. I'm not sure if they're gonna actually add it to the game, but... I don't know, it, it could be somewhere that you go and you die? I don't know really know if they're gonna actually use it, but let's test out the PvP a little bit. Oh, he's getting comboed. Alright, nice. I, it definitely feels like Vernon Moon. Probably feels better than Vernon Moon, honestly. Okay, but you still can't hit people who are already on the ground. Oh god. Oh wow. I have no mana left. Ah! Uh... Oh no. Let me get 2v1 or something. Alright, we got him. I also like how they sort of made it interactive. Where, you know, you don't hit or get hit, and then after a while it sort of muffles, or maybe that's to do with your health bar, I don't really know. But yeah, um, overall, they're doing a really good job. As always, I'll provide the link to the VMR Discord server in the description so that you can come here and try out the game for yourself, because it is open testing. Only for a little bit, though, because it's Salem's birthday. But yeah, let's check out these new things.
Oh, I'm pretty sure there was some guy in my comment section of the last time I checked out the testing, the testing server that said they really wanted Lance to be in the game. But yeah, here you go, I guess. It does look really cool. I like the model and the animations. And... Oh, Scythe, yes. <laughs> they even have the classic sound effect. Yeah, this was a fan favorite. And of course, <laughs> we have the Twig Greatsword, except now you can put enchants on it. Push daggers. Oh my god. I remember Australian servers went a thing back in the days of original Burnet Moon. So, I don't know, maybe I'll give these a shot because they'll have good ping. If the game has any players. You can sort of abuse your range with this a little bit. Abilities? What? I've got, I've got a feeling that this, this does a lot of damage. Oh, I see. Yes, t it was T, R, and C, the abilities. All right, so let's test these abilities. So we got Regal Slash. Um, pretty nice. I can remember that I always like that. Then there was this counter. And, oh, that guy cancelled my ability, but I was going to combo him with his ragdoll. ragdoll. Oh, that has a lot of end lag. feels so good to play. Like, they seriously did a really good job with this. I'm not sure how close the game is to finishing, but... I know that they're making a lot of progress and are working really hard on the game. So don't rush them. The game will come out when it's ready. Wait, what? Lance also has a counter? That's really cool. I mean, they've got to at least give something else a counter since Sword was arguably the best weapon in the game because it was the only thing that had a counter. So, got an ability there. Oh, okay. So this thing also, also has abilities. Wait, so can you aim them once you get them? You can. That means you can like throw them off the map. Oh, that's so nice. Get your dumbass. I think Lance is gonna be really OP. Because look, you can use this move and actually, even if they're on the floor, it still works. So, hang on, let me try and knock this guy down. Yeah, see, you can you can even use the T once they're on the ground. That's gonna make for some really powerful combos. Okay, oh, so Greatsword has the same abilities. It has a very short range though, which makes sense because it's like an impale ability. You'd probably want to use it inside of a combo and go like that. Okay, so they've like- oh! Okay. Ooh! <laughs> okay, nice! The push dagger is gonna have like a rapid slash move. It's a little bit glitchy with the um the model there. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but you can't really blame them. It is extremely early in making abilities for the weapons. Yeah, it has like some kind of slash dagger move that does some after flashes. Hang on, I gotta run it shield up. Uh oh. Nice. Um, I didn't see if there were any moves on the spear. Okay, so it's got the same impale and, and like, up off the ground move. So I'm not sure if they're gonna have a bunch of weapons have the same move set or... Not sure what they're gonna do there, but... Yeah. 
I think the current moves are really cool, and especially the animations. Anyway, come check this game out for yourself. And, um, yeah, they're doing a really good job. Sorry if I sounded loud or obnoxious. I'm trying to lower the volume of my keyboard. I got a few people complaining about that last video. But, yeah, have a good one, guys.